Hello and welcome to this Business Central video. Uh, today I'm going to be going through how to license your Business Central users. So this is a part three in a video series on making the most of the Business Central trial. So just to recap, in the first one we created the trial um, and then in the second one we went through the different methods you can use to access Business Central once you've created the trial. So now, um, in this part, I just want to go through how you can start licensing other users in your tenant so they can start using all the great features and functionality that Business Central has to offer. So if I just pop into here, now one of them, first of all, is we want to get into the admin center because that's the place that we can assign all our licenses, whether that from be Business Central or any other Microsoft product. So first of all, I Googled, uh, Microsoft Admin Center, that took me to here, I clicked in sign in now, and that's taken me into my into my uh, my tenant, my, my demo tenant. So I'm logged into here as my global administrator, who's somebody who can um, dish out the licenses. I can see that over here, see I'm logged in as admin. Now at the moment, since I created my, um, since I created my trial, I've only used one license and that's for the person who used it. But if I go down to here in billing, I can go into licenses and you can see here, I've got this special license called IWS, which is, I think it stands for information work. Basically it just means trial license. I've got like 10,000 of these I can dish out to all my users. I've only used one because it's only licensed that first user, but now I want to get other people involved. Okay. So how do we do that? So to do that, you go to your active users and you can just click on them. So here I've got Adele. Uh, and if I go to licenses, I can just tick this here. But before I do that, if I go into here, which is Office 365 logged in as Adele. So here I am logged in as Adele. Um, and if I go to Adele's apps, as you can see, you can see all the great ones she's already got access to. But if you look here at the moment, and this was one of the methods we went through of how you can access Business Central, which is through an app within your Office 365, she, has, she hasn't got a Business Central available. So let's change that. So what we do is if I go back into here, and all I need to do is tick on uh, Business Central there, and then click Save Changes. And then if I close down, Adele should have access. But before I do that, she should actually automatically get access. But before I do that, I'm going to go into Business Central and show you how you can pull that user into Business Central. So I've given her the license. That's like step one. And that can then pull her into Business Central. I don't necessarily have to, which I'm going to demonstrate on another user. But, but now I'm going to use this method because you may dish up a load of licenses and just want to pull them all in at one go. So if I go into here, click search, I'm logged into here as my admin user. If I go into users and go users, and then you can see it's only got one user at the moment. If I now, but now I've dished out that, that user license. If I click uh, update users from Microsoft 365, click next, click new changes. Here we go. We've got Adele ready to come in. And if I click finish, voila, Adele is now logged in. It's got a license. She can access Business Central. She can have a look at all the features and, you, and that's great. And also, if I go now to Office 365, logged in as Adele, and if I just refresh this page, I'm hoping that if I click all apps, Business Central is now there. So, she's, so Adele can now use Business Central, which is absolutely fantastic but we didn't have to pull that user in what we can also do so if I dish out another license because I want to get as many people involved in this so if I go back to my admin center go back to so I go from the top go to back to my active users go right I want to give Alex a license now so click on Alex go to licenses I'm going to dish out a user for for Alex and I'm going to click save changes and there we go so now Alex has a license so now I don't necessarily have to go in now and pull that user in. I can just set to Alex, can you try and log into Business Central? So what Alex can do is, like we mentioned in that second video, is he could go, he could just Google um, Dyna, uh, Business Central sign in, takes him to this page, click sign in. And then if he puts his user account in, 
which is here. So I haven't pulled him in yet. I haven't gone in and pulled him in. I click next. And then if I go, if I type the password incorrectly for stars, and click sign in. This is about me MFA, so I'm just going to X later. And then I'm going to choose Alex again. I'm hoping, voila, so it starts to sign in, starts to get ready. So I haven't pulled Alex in, but he's got access. And if I go back to my admin user, and if I just come out of that users page and go back to users, he should have just reappeared. There he is. So basically, that's a couple of um, methods that you can do. So you can assign the license onto numerous users and then go into business central users and then go and then click the update users from Microsoft 365. Or alternatively, you can dish out the licenses and just tell them to log in. So that, that's how you can then start dishing out your Business Central trial licenses. So all your other users in your organization can start getting used to using the Cronus company and start getting used to all the wonderful features, like I say, that Business Central has to offer. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there'll be more to come. I'm going to go through how to set up emails, um, how to create a sandbox, how to add your own company data. So uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. See you next time.